Amen. Oh my God. Finally, I'm here. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, me that I thought I was going to come for the next podcast, like maybe after a few minutes. I've been sick, oh, but thank God I'm finally healed by the grace of God. My mind was on this podcast every day, but I, I didn't have the strength to come. But I thank God that I'm here. And I've prayed and I'm still praying that every attack on this podcast, the Lord should destroy it in Jesus' name. Because I actually see that what we are preaching is powerful. It's not entertaining. There is nobody that will hear it and I will feel, oh, what this person said is really good. <laughs> That's why you see entertainers uh, post having more views than the ones that are teaching you how to live a life pleasing to God. If you go and look at my YouTube now, you hardly see views there. But then, there's nobody that would listen to it and you not feel the power of God. What people don't know is that in this life, the devil will make you to be thinking it's all this entertainment that will give you peace of mind that you're looking for. But in the real reality, it is doing the will of God that will give you the peace. That's why you see even some comedians, they are still depressed. That's why you see some comedians, some uh, entertainers like maybe musicians and and uh, hip-hop and all those kind of things. They, still, they are still battling with some things in their life. So that is to tell you that the only way you can actually have the peace of mind you are looking for is by doing the will of God. So I will employ you, I will advise you. You can go to my YouTube too and be following the prayers. Sometimes during the prayers too, we share the word of God. We encourage ourselves. I will advise you, join it. You will see the power of God. And I always share my testimonies, how the prayer is helping me. You know, you know when you hear testimonies like that, that ah, is it not the same prayer we are praying? You know, you too, you will Hope that something like that will happen in your life too. I was in a very down state when I started that prayer. When God said, go and be doing prayers. I didn't have a job. I was always indoors, depressed, praying for a job. You know that time I was really, really searching for a job. And the rejections I was getting was making me depressed every time. So I was like, God, I need a job. I don't want to be just idle in the house. Then God said, go and be praying. And when I started the prayer, you will not believe all those depressions left. Then even I was no longer worried about what will I eat. What, before I would be worried, what will I eat? And that was the reason why I was so desperate for those jobs that time. What will I eat? Now God will just send help to bless me. You know? And that's what I am I am trying to encourage us about this morning. That the Lord will always take care of us when we are on His side. And these are the things we are preaching on this podcast. By the grace of God. This is the seventh week now that I have not been consistent. But by God's grace, I know that with this one, that my body is back to normal. I will be consistent in Jesus' name. And I will be able to meet up with all the areas. So please, if you have learned one thing or the other from this opening speech... <laughs> Let's do something about it. Let's uh, join my YouTube. You know, you might be going through something that nothing is moving. I'm telling you, when I started that prayer, nothing was moving. You know, that time I met I met a guy. He was in tech, or maybe, like he said, <laughs> you know, let me, don't let me, let me give him benefit of doubt. Like he said, he was in tech. So I was now like, oh, me too, I want to be in tech company, like IT guy, you understand? So I started looking for a job in IT. The rejection was just making me more depressed, more depressed, more depressed. Ah, oh my God. I will not know the funniest thing. Me that I'm searching for a job, people will be coming to my inbox. Please, do you have a job for me? <laughs> you know, I was not like, ah. Sometimes we don't even see ourselves. So maybe those those um, companies that I was applying to, they were not seeing me as someone 
that is a worker. Maybe they are seeing like someone that is a boss. You understand? Maybe that's why they are saying no. Imagine Elon Musk now. Is he Elon Musk they call him? Going to apply for a job. You know, they will be afraid that, ah, this kind of thing be this now. We cannot employ you. Your get. Sometimes we don't, we don't really know ourselves. We don't really know ourselves. But what I'm just trying to encourage us in this opening speech is that let's, let's move closer to God. The Lord will take care of everything. Then I'm also inviting you to pray us. <laughs> I'm also inviting you to pray us. You know, by the time you have troubled about something, you pray about it, your body will be, will be lifted. God will carry the body for you. You just notice that you are no longer worried about it. So it's not always entertainment. Some people will even think it's sleeping with women that will take their bodies away. Some people will think it's smoking, it's drinking. No, please, it's not the one. Let's try this prayer method that we are doing on my YouTube. If you cannot do prayers on your own yet, God will be following the prayers. The power of God is there. Let me tell you one thing about uh, any ministry that the the at least that person is is doing everything or oh, how do i put it a ministry that that the person is is doing what he's saying you understand there are some ministries that you follow maybe online or something they will tell you do this do that but they themselves are not doing it the things they're asking you to do they're positive things so but they themselves are doing the negative they are not even and allowing God to move through them. You will notice that the power of God doesn't work in that kind of ministry. But by the time you, you are attending a ministry, it might be small. The Bible even said, you said, that is a small gathering. He said, the Lord delights in you. So most of the time, if, a, if I'm not saying all, all the big congregations are not good. I'm not saying that. But what I'm trying to say is that, let God lead you. It might be small. Look at me now. When you go to my YouTube now, some some videos no have views. Some some we have one. Some we have two. And some you will see five. You understand? But that progress is enough for me. You understand? That that at least somebody is is watching. You understand? Is enough for me. And I know that that is growth. You can't give birth to a child today and then the that day you expect the child to to. To be like a 20-year-old baby is not possible. So that is just God allowing me to grow. You understand? Allowing me to know the meaning of growth. It's not that you suddenly boom. But those things that suddenly boom like that. By the time they are coming down, they come down boom like that. But by the time you take the step, you are growing, you are growing. You see, you can't easily fall down like that. It's just like staircase. And somebody that, that climbed a mountain... By force, the Lord has showed me this dream sometimes ago when I was really like, God, I want, I want everything now. I want everything now. You know, when you climb like that, you fall immediately. By the, by the time your leg just slip one way or the other, you just fall down. By the time you take the steps, even if you want to fall, you can fall to the next staircase. You understand? You can't really, you can't easily fall down flat like that when you take the staircase. It looks long, it always looks long, but then it's always worth it. It's always worth it. And that's how God works. And that's the things we are preaching here. So please, if the Lord make you to come across this podcast, I implore you to... <laughs> how do you think it is? Is it implore? Okay, I implore, implore you to, to continue and you will see the effect in your life. I'm not saying don't watch entertainment, but I'm telling you that that is not where your solution is. The solution is in this word of God. Me too, I watch some videos, but by the time I, I get tired of it very fast. I watch comedy too, but I get tired of it very fast because I know that's not where my uh, comfort is. My comfort is in the word of God. It's in, the, it's in prayers. It's in talking to God because he's the only one that understands the word. So I'm just trying to say that don't make those sinful things the ones you 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 start pursuing or those ones that are not even sinful but they are not talking to your soul they are not talking to your spirit don't make them to be higher than the things of god may god help us and i'm and i'm praying that the lord will continue to 
help me to be useful for his glory in the name of Jesus. I don't know how God will make my glory to shine out, but then I'm ready for the growth. You understand? I really appreciate the growth. I appreciate the step-by-step growth. It's really a good thing when you are seeing yourself grow. You know, you give birth to a child today, then tomorrow, maybe when you give birth to the child, she couldn't open her eyes. Tomorrow, she's able to open her eyes. You'll be like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Next day, she's able to hold your hands. You say, ah, thank you, Jesus. That is that is how life supposed to be. Not just suddenly, boom. Suddenly, it's more... If you give birth to a child today and tomorrow the child is talking, you will not be afraid. Or you give birth to a child today and tomorrow all the 32 teeth, not the 20, you know there's meat teeth that is 20. All the 32 teeth just came out of the baby's mouth. You will be afraid now. So that is just the opening speech. You know, after any time I have break like this and I'm trying to come back, I always have a lot of speech. So don't... Don't feel bad about this speech. So let's pray so that we can go into this uh, podcast. Father, we appreciate you. Blessed Redeemer, we thank you. You have been our help in ages past. And you will always be. We thank you so much. Thank you for the healing. Oh my God. It was it was a lot for me. But Lord, that I'm finally back. It's not that people are saying, ah... Father Lord, we thank you. You didn't allow it to end in in pains, in tears. You didn't allow it to end in death. Father, you healed me with your mighty hand. Thank you for all the blessings that you have done during this time. Thank you, Lord, for bringing people. And we thank you for the growth. Thank you, Lord, that as you are helping me to preach this word, you are also helping me to do it. Even though it was because you saw that I was doing it before, that's why you have led me to be preaching about it. But even more, you are still helping me to stay on your line. Father, Lord, we thank you. And I'm also thanking you for people that you are bringing to yourself through this podcast. One way or the other, I know that some people are learning. Some people are getting that deliverance. Maybe someone that I used to drink before will say, Ah, oh, the, the deliverance and what I need is not in drinking. It's in the word of God. That person will start praying. Please help me to stay in the line of God, you know. That is a kind of deliverance. I know that you are doing it. Maybe somebody that used to sleep with different women, thinking that is how to to be a man. Maybe later you now say, ah, that's not how to be a man. Then you start, you start uh, doing the things of God, little by little. Father, we thank you. You are the one that is doing all this. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are here again. Father, I have like four sessions that I must do together. Even though we have break, but these four sessions I must do them at the same time so that I can I can have break, then come back for other sessions. Father, Lord, we thank you. Please come and join us. Father, come and have your way. The Spirit of God, you said you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. Father, Lord, please fill me with the Holy Spirit this morning in the name of Jesus. And the Spirit of God, the power that comes when the Spirit of God comes. Please give it to me. In the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, come and have your way. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that the word of God will come out this morning. It will break every stronghold of darkness in the heart of everyone. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let the power of God come down. Let the Spirit of God come down. Father, Lord, help me. The word of God is a two-edged sword as it is piercing the soul of people hearing it. Even the person that is talking about it is also going into us. So please, Lord, as this message is blessing people, please let it bless me too. Please put your words in my mouth. Father, Lord, I have spoken so much in the early speech, in the beginning speech, that people should come to the Lord, that that is where the real solution is. Please, God, let it, let it, the word go out and do what you have sent it out to do. Don't let it just go and return to you empty and dead. Father, Lord, let it go and bring people to yourself. And help me, Father Lord, to remain in you. Don't let me change the standard. Father Lord, please help me. Don't let me start um, looking for other ways to get uh, fame or whatever that the temptation might be. Please, God, don't let me go away from you. Please, I need your help because I cannot do it on my own. 
Please keep me on your side in the name of Jesus. Father, please speak to us in this podcast this morning. Oh Lord, not only these sessions, but all the sessions. At the end, we want all glory to return to you. In Jesus' mercy name, we have prayed. Amen. We had 15 minutes to do opening speech and prayers. But we thank God. So, we have 15 minutes to speak. So, don't don't worry if we cannot finish everything we have to say in this one. Don't worry. There are still other topics that will bring out those things that we need to hear. So, the topic is how to be a good husband and father. You know, one thing about... Uh, uh, life is that there are some things we I mean personally you or when I say we I mean you yourself I'm not saying a group of people I'm saying somebody that you will feel oh this is the best I should do but in the other way around is hurting somebody else but you don't know and that is what we we call being selfish. This is this is what you need. This is what you want. This is what makes you comfortable. But it's hurting another person. That means if you are doing it and you don't care, you don't have empathy, you don't care if this thing is hurting this person, then you are not being a good person. You understand? You are not being you are not um how do I put it? They are not being a good husband or a good father. Or let me say you are not good being a good person because we have not gone to that topic very well. You understand? So as man, we have learned a lot about what being the head means. And so many questions, I mean so many topics like that 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 has talked about this. And that's why I said that even if we can Finish everything God has for us in this topic. We will still meet it in another topic. You understand? So, that is to say that how do you do something and and you are, you are a good husband and you are a good father? That is when you are not hurting that person. You know the needs of your wife. You know the needs of your children. And you are not being selfish, like it's only you the most please. You know, a lot of a lot of men, I believe a lot of people say what men need is is uh, oh no, what do they call it? Is respect. There's nobody that will disrespect you. You understand? But by the time you are being too selfish, like I must be respected, I must be respected. You don't even care what that person is going through at that time. Sometimes a woman has done the most to respect you, but because you are so selfish. And you don't care about her. You don't care about what she wants. You don't care about her feelings. She will be doing herself, undoing herself, doing like really hurting herself just to give you all that respect. But because you are that selfish, you don't care whether what she's even doing is is um, hurting herself. You don't care, and it's not making you a good man. It's not making you a good a good husband. You understand. Let's go to the topic. I want to say that one of one of the ways to be a good husband and a good father is even before you are married. You have been living your life in a good way. Don't be the type that makes girls hope. You know, this thing of calling a particular girl a low show and then um, you are sleeping with that Olo show, but then you want people to look down on her like she's worse than you. It's really a bad thing. Whether you are not married or you are married, whether you are not even close to getting married, treating a woman like that is very bad. It's very, very bad. So one of the ways to be a good father and a good husband is by the time you are not even married, you have been living your life in a chaste way. Like in a good way, in a in a virtuous way. Yesterday on my YouTube and not YouTube on Facebook and Instagram and other places, I shared it that virtuous 
is not only for women because some people will be like virtuous women, virtuous women. There is something called virtuous man too. You should be a virtuous man. So how do you how do you be a good husband and a good a good father? It's from youth, from before you even think of marriage, you have been living your life in a good way. You don't treat ladies badly. You don't break girls' heart. There is nothing wrong. You know, I always admire a couple online. They are young couples and they have been in relationship for years. And now they are married and they have a child. I always admire the man. That, uh, uh, in this world that a lot of men are going from one girl to the other, going about sleeping around, this one just pick one, stay with her, get married, and, and uh, you know, that is how you should be. You don't have to have a lot of girls hanging on your neck like, like you have destroyed their life, they are causing you, you are bringing cause to your home. You don't have to be like that. You don't have to be that kind of man. You can live your life in a good way. If per adventure you you get a relationship, stay with that person. There is nothing wrong in staying with a woman. The same thing you, you will get in this woman, you will get it in another person. I'm telling you, the same thing the same thing you are looking out for in other women, this person has it. What I'm just saying is that if an adventure anything happens between you two, don't don't dump that woman for another person. That means you have started your life at that stage. But if you know you, you still have a lot of plans in your life, then don't even venture into all those kind of things. You understand? That's why I appreciate some guys online today. Once they see that a girl gets pregnant for them, they just marry the girl. Because they don't want to start going about... Um, breaking people's hearts because it's going to cause chaos i'm serious i'm telling you the truth it's going to cause chaos if you decide to get married to another woman now after you have you have mistakenly impregnated somebody let's call it mistakenly i call it mistakenly because you still have a lot of plans in your life but then it's not still a mistake these are the things I'm preaching on this channel. I'll be on this podcast. That be a man. Be the type of man that I don't want to do this and you don't do it. I don't want to sleep around and you don't sleep around. Not the one that one girl with shaking ass in front of you and you're already falling for it. On this channel, on this podcast, I'm teaching men how to be men. These are the things that make you a man. By the time you can stand on your decision. It's not until you get married and you shout, I am the head. I am the head. No. Being the head is in your behavior. It's in those things. It's in how you stand on your decisions. It's in how you, uh, your integrity is. This is what being the head means. That is where you can tell your wife, let us do this. She listens to you because she knows that you don't, you don't make wrong decisions. Oh, I tell you, I've always been the type that make wrong decisions, that leads people into problems. Some people are complaining online a few days ago that I saw it online. They said um, that the man was like, you're always controlling me. Then she decided to, <laughs> to leave everything for the man. Like, okay, I don't want to control you. He said everything was scattered. And these are the kind of men you, you, you are shouting, I am the head, submit to me. Please, by the time a woman submits to that kind of thing, that means the whole house will always be scattered. That means the children's life will always be scattered. Even you yourself, you will be scattered. But by the time you have been a good man, maybe in, in taking care of yourself, you already know how to, to bath when you are supposed to take your shower. Some men don't know when you are supposed to take shower. They are so dirty. This was one of the reasons why I couldn't date when I was in my first degree. They will be smelling. Because you are going to school doesn't mean you have to be smelling. Their clothes will be smelling. So this kind of man will now say you want to marry me and you think I will answer you. I can't even date you. And then you'll be looking for a girlfriend that will be washing your clothes for you. How to be a good husband? It starts from your youth. You already learn how to clean your house by yourself. If you're a man and you don't know how to clean, you can't be a good husband. You can't be a good father. There are times your wife will not be at home. What will you train the children? Will you train the children that you to be dirty like me? 
You don't know that one of the reasons God God creates marriage is so that children can come from this marriage. That's why if you are the type of man that you just give birth to children anyhow and calling these women baby mamas, you are not a good man. I'm telling you the truth, you are not a good man. There's nothing good in 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 uh, calling a woman, a woman that deserves husband, calling her baby mama. For what? What has she done so badly that you want to revenge that, that made you to turn her into that kind of rubbish? She's not good. She's not good. So what you are learning today is, first of all, to be a good husband, you have to, you have to learn how to be good. You have to learn how to be independent on your own. It's not just about the money. There's some cultures that we only make men think that all you have to do is have money, have money. That is for women that, that are lazy. Women that are looking for men that will just take care of their needs, that don't want to work. But nowadays, the ladies are, are also working. What you need to do is learn how to, to, to be disciplined. Learn how to be a virtuous man. Don't just expect your wife alone to be a virtuous man and then you, you are a public dog. It's not, it's not going well at all. It's not good. You get married, one lady is drawing you here, another one is drawing you there uh, because of, 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 of baby food, because of children's school fees. You are not being a good husband by doing that. What's, what stops you from picking one lady, staying with her? You don't know that ladies are, ladies are actually very good. Ladies are actually very good. But by the time you are, you are getting a side of women, it means you are not doing the right thing. I'm telling you. By the time you are getting a very bad side of a woman, God didn't create women to be to be negative at all. Before a woman can go out and start misbehaving, it has hand of a man in it. I'm telling you. You can't see a girl just waking up one day and then she wants to become Olosho. It's not possible. Like a young girl that has never been messed up with men, no, it's not possible. So don't be the type of man that cause harm in a woman's life. Then later on, you go on the internet, you start insulting her. You start insulting ladies. I say all these ladies, all they want is, is sleeping with women, with men. All they can offer is sleeping with men. You know, anytime I hear this kind of things, it's, I don't know. If, it's just, my ear just, like what sort of rubbish is this? You, you will call a girl to your house. Come and sleep with me. I will give you money. You are the one that planned everything. You are the one that do everything from beginning to the end. But then you go to the internet. You go and say, all a woman can offer is, is sex. Please. Did you give her money and say you, you don't want sex and she didn't collect it from you? Because I don't understand how you, you men just like to confuse yourself and confuse the whole world. The whole world is confused because men are not taking responsibilities of what they should be taking responsibilities for. God wants you to be different. God wants you to come out from among them and be different. That is what the Bible is, is asking us to do. And that is why God is bringing this podcast. God wants us to be different. Don't be the type that just live your life anyhow. Anywhere belief face, that's the road. No. If the whole world is moving towards this, you too, you move towards it. If the world is moving, no, stay in the line of God. You don't have to join them. You don't have to join them. You don't have to join them. Be different. By the time you are different, the Lord will honor you. I always use the example of Joseph. I'm very sure for the for the wife's boss to ask him for sleeping with him. Maybe she has been doing that to other people too. And they have been accepting. But he refused. He said, I can I do this and sin against God? That means to say some people have been doing it, but he decided I will not do it. We saw this in the life of Daniel too. He said, he proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the kingsmith. It's a purpose. It's something you will, you will stand on. It's something you will, you will make up your mind that you will not do. If an avenger somebody gets pregnant for you by the time you are you cannot control yourself, take the responsibilities. 
And if you don't want somebody to get pregnant for you, then don't sleep around. By the time you don't sleep around, it allows you to even be focused. It allows you to go higher. It allows you to know what you are, you what you want in life. You can be able to go higher in life. So that is what we learned today. There are so many things we will still learn later. But it will come in other topics. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God that has come out this morning. Father, please let it go out and do what you have sent it out to do. And help me to remain in you so that the word of God can continue to be, to run and be effective from my mouth in Jesus' name. Please don't let the devil have me. Please, God, I want to always be on your side. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.